Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to implement Google Login in our project. Let's begin. Open your app project, go to the activity you want to add Google Login. In this instance, I've got my Google Login in an activity called Login. Then add uh, a linear in, with uh, gravity center. Then you can add another linear 7 or a button. I will use this linear 7 as a button to initiate Google login. Okay, let's set up our Firebase before we can actually configure our project. So the first thing you do is open your browser. Go to Firebase Console.com. Let me go to my Firebase console. So what we want to do here is set up our project and prepare it in readiness for Google login. So here we are in our console. If it's your first time, add a project right there on top. If it's not, choose the project that you want to set up Google login in. Then uh, let's click on menu go to authentication here we are going to go on sign in methods just enable google login enable google login there then we can save choose a project support email and save then we can also enable anonymous Okay, once we have done this, let's go to Project Overview. Project Overview, here we want to add the project that we want Google Login in. So just click on the plus sign to add an app. And uh, follow the procedure. Fill in all the boxes. I've already made a project for this tutorial. So... Once it's done, it just has about three steps. Once it's done, you come here, click on your apps, it will show your projects. The first project on top should be the one you just configured. Just click on the settings sign. Then here we need to copy the project ID. That, you copy it and paste it in your project. Let's go to settings, library, firebase. So the project ID will be pasted there on the first. There. Then we also copy the app ID. The app ID should be at the bottom of the settings. App ID. You copy that. Also paste it in your project. There. Then we also need the API key. Go back to Firebase, then API key is on top. Copy the API key and paste it in your project. Right there. So once you have the project ID, app ID and API key, hit next. Then here we need the storage bucket URL. To find the storage URL, we go to storage. Then once you're in storage, the URL is right here. Just touch the attachment sign to copy the clip the URL to clipboard. And go back to your project. Focus. Once you paste the URL, it's got the GS colon and uh, the double slash. Just remove those. Once you leave them, it won't work when you are trying to use firebase storage but the authentication will still work let's hit next then we can save these go back to your user interface let's now start adding logic for google sign-in the first thing is you add a component 
Google login. I've named mine GL. Here it is. Then I also add uh, two authentication components named OF and MOF. OF and another one MOF. So there we go, M OF and OF. Then open your own create. In own create, I've got these add source directly blocks. Those are just my instructions for those who are going to download the sample project. Then create a string. I've created a string API three. You can create it with any name. Well, this will hold our client ID for the Google login. I'll show you how to get the client ID soon. Then we need to create two custom objects, Google sign in options and uh, Firebase current user. Uh, there we go, I've created these and they're the ones I added there. So make sure to follow the case if it's a capital letter, let it be a capital letter. If it's a small letter, let it be a small letter. Then also drag your Google login component there. Then you're done in on create. We'll still come back to the client ID. Let's look at the button click method. Here on button click, we pick a Google account. You drag your component there. Then let's look at component. Here we have to add some listeners. In that order, don't interchange them. The first one should be on account cancelled. On account cancelled, you can toss to do anything you want, but I've left it empty. Then on account picked. On account picked result, it, uh, Google sign in task. It will start the, the signing task. Otherwise, if there's an error, it's going to toast the error. You can find the login blocks on my blog. I shared them there or in SK Teacher app. Everything is there. Then we go to more block. Here we add a more block named on start Google sign in and a dash. Let's open this. On start Google sign in on Firebase authentication, we put uh, the authentication component we created named mauth. Then we check if success login. Here you can even leave it like that because it will be success. Then it will go to another activity or do whatever you want. But then I've added this just to check for the current user and the uh, if they are logged in so if they are, the current user is logged in we can even add their details to firebase but we're not going to tackle that for this we just add a simple logic where if the user is logged in we go to an activity i've created called success otherwise if the login fails we're going to toast failed try again okay it's all that's all or with the logic, let's uh, let me just show you how to get the client ID. This client ID. Open your browser. Then uh, just Google start integrating Google login. Here we are going to look for developers.google.com. Start integrating Google sign in into your Android app. Scroll down and find configure a Google API console project. Then click on the button configure a project. It 
just wait for it to load create a new project no we are going to select the project that we added our app project to then right at the bottom there we've got two buttons but they're not very visible but the next button is on your right here we choose where we are calling from we are calling from android so we select android at the bottom we are required to put the package name our app project package name com crn dot login input your project package name there then we need the shawan key again so how to get the shawan key we can use dev tools you can find dev tools in play store install dev tools open dev tools then we go to app info here in app info we have to choose our app google login so choose your app and the package name is also shown in this dev tools there it is but we are interested in the shawan key so signature shawan we copy that go back to our browser and we are going to paste the shawan key there then the two buttons at the bottom cans one create you want to hit on create once it's done it's going to tell you to download client configuration you can download it if you want but for this we are not really interested in downloading that we just want the client id so you click on copy then done go back to your project and now we are ready to paste the api key here okay let's add the client id and save it uh, once you're done with this your project should be up and running and your google login should be working so let's run this just to see that it's working okay let's now open our project and test our google login so there's our button touch the button then we get the prompt to choose account choose account and wait for login to be successful there we go google login success so this is how you implement google login for those who need this sample project you can download it in sketch or via the link below